Hello, and I apologize for being late, but I hope you're a better late than never crowd. <laughs> we are moving. I'm moving to New Orleans on Saturday. So this room is empty, and it has taken me a minute to get over here. Um, so uh, the first patch that I ever really wanted to share and put on video was this uh, attenuator with a bunch of clock dividers sent to pulse converters. I'm gonna do the same kind of thing, but I'm gonna mess with it a little bit and use a uh, kind of patch bay technique that uh, Guire and McGuire used. And I'll put a link to the video there and maybe I'll drop even a little, uh, little link in the video here. Um, but check that video out as well. But I'm gonna use different pulse converters, or uh, clock dividers, sorry. Uh, so I'm gonna send 16. I hope this makes sense. Now I just feel like I am a little too uh, inside baseball. But 16 here, and I'm just going to do 16 eights. Just working my way down. Four. And I'm going to do two. And so I have these. input outputs here um, that are connected to one, two, three, and four <clears throat> down here. So one is going to go to the top one here. Two is going to get the second one, which is eight. So 16, eight to two. And three is going to get four. <laughs> I hope this makes sense. And four is going to get two. And now I'm going to run these. So this is 16. Going to the input here. Going to hit that snare drum there. Wake everybody up. And four is going to go to the attenuator as well. And then... So basically one and three down here are going to an attenuator and two and four are going to another attenuator. And now I'm going to run these. In a pre well, actually, let me do this. So in my first video, what I did is I used every single attenuator. I did two clock dividers to, e to two attenuators, and then I did them out to... It's going to get real messy here. So basically, each attenuator, each of these is going to go out to the other two. And then those are gonna go out to the pulse converters. And that allows you to kind of tone down the clock dividers and really get kind of a more mellow. So this one's gonna go out to the top pulse converter, which is going to go to the hi-hat here. And let's see what we're getting right away from the hi-hats. Let me turn the tempo down a little bit. Cool. So see, the reason I like to run them both into one attenuator is because you can get a lot just out of that one attenuator, but then when you mess with the dividers as well, so you get a lot of variation out of using all the attenuators. Um, and I'm gonna run the second attenuator that has both the clock divider combinations through an inverter. And then inverter is going to go out to the other pulse 
converter <laughs> and out to the snare drum. And now let's invert that so it's not hitting at the same time as the hi-hat by just connecting the CV to the 10 volt. And as you can see, I needed to add a little more to what is being sent to the snare drum now. Because before, I had it around there and it wasn't, it was sending something. Well, maybe not. And then I connect the CV and it cuts out. So I have to give it a little more juice. A little more juice there. And then if I go all the way up, It sounds like it's hitting around the same time actually as the uh, So sometimes it, it takes a little canoodling. But what I want to do now is well, let's get the uh, let's get the bass module involved and get a little melody. <clears throat> what I was doing before was sending in my first patch that I did here at this house that I'm about to leave is connect the one bit to the trig and then the three bit I connected directly to the CV in but this time I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the CV of a VCA and then send the ground through that and I'm going to send that out to the CV of the bass. I've not clocked the uh, sample and hold yet, so let's try that real quick. Maybe I'll try a slow one and see how that works right now. Send that up to the reverb. Adjust the frequency. And now I'm going to clock up the LFO to 0.25 and then send the square LFO to the data, data pin and mix it up a little bit. So using the, uh, let me adjust the tempo. Three. 
slow on the sample and hold side so I should maybe up this maybe I'll connect it to a one bit uh, direct here and let's connect the direct actually to a clock divider to sync that up 16 Everything kind of mixed up together. <clears throat> and now let me bring um, the plugs here the <laughs> back to where they were. So this is going to get messy. Well, actually, maybe I'll play with this for a second. I don't want to lose this. So as I adjust the attenuators, it's also adjusting the chaos, which is hitting the, uh, the bass there. Um, so kick, like I was saying <laughs> a second ago. So I'm connecting the one just to the um, 0.1 capacitor, one clock divider, 0.1 capacitor in on the left side anyway, and then the right side is going out to the uh, kick trig. And really ties the room together. had to say hello today and try something a little different <clears throat> I'm gonna try to put these back in order here so I got one and four at two and three I have three in two and I have four in one so I just need to swap these back over basically getting myself all mixed up not really sure where I'm at anymore but so 16 is getting sent to four I'm all lost. Hey, try mixing up some clock dividers through attenuators and all that stuff. <laughs> I hope this made you think a little bit. I got I got tangled up into a knot here because how do I keep track? I want one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So I need to remember. So what I could do is have each attenuator be one of these instead of having two attenuators be four of these. Um, I hope that makes sense. This is my first try. I'm going to leave it at this because I am packing up like a fool. But try this and check out Guire McGuire's video, which is very, very... Um, I just love how he lays it out. It just makes it makes you, it makes it flow a little bit easier other than my little walk and talk here that's just kind of on the fly, making stuff up as I go. But trying things, I think I'm learning a little bit. find some cool stuff but uh, anyway check those links below check out some cool um, uh, I'm gonna put a couple of links also to some patch um, pulsar patch competition videos that are pretty cool and um, let me know what you think of this yeah um, my brain's a little scrambled so just wanted to say hello though and take a walk with you take my mind off things hopefully take yours off as well and um, 
I'm gonna put these back together now. So I'm gonna bring back one up back to 16 and then uh, four back to two. That messes with the Asheas as well, which is pretty cool. Now I'm gonna swap two and three back up. Oh, I like that actually. Cool. All right, I hope you have a good week. Uh, this was a little silly as usual, um, but I wanted to bring it back. So the first patch that I thought was kind of cool and modify it a little bit. Say goodbye to the house. Say hello to new things. All right, y'all, I'm gonna patch in this mad pen. second here and uh, play it out so have a great week check out the links down below um, and yeah check this stuff out check out the uh, little patch bay something I did just messed up that uh, that base there so let's see how that goes all right so I'm gonna connect the reverb to the right side here delay to the left side here This is just running out to my uh, audio interface. Connect this to, eh, well, let's do the square. Let's get a little uh, crazy. it up on the attenuator side. I think it all got locked up because I put all the attenuators full blast here, so let's loosen it up. There we go. Have an awesome week. This uh, rat's nest came up with something kind of interesting here, I hope. I think. Oh, look at what I have going on over here. I didn't even notice that my whole LFO was silly. Let's open a whole nother world. Hold the door. Alright, you guys are awesome. Thank you for being here. Thanks for walking around with me. Um, hope this turned out to be something kind of interesting. Alright, I'm playing out. Turn it off my mic. Thank you.